From his early days at Manchester United's academy, Lingard was a promising player, known for his impressive performances on the field and charismatic personality off it. His charismatic personality, his quick work, precise passes, and game-changing goals was a sign that he was destined for greatness. But behind the scenes, he was struggling with a battle that few knew about, his battle with depression. So sit and relax. In this video, we are going to take a look at what really happened to Jesse Lingard. Rising from the humble town of Warrington, Cheshire, Jesse Lingard was destined for greatness from a young age. At just seven years old, he enrolled in Manchester United's prestigious youth academy and quickly climbed the ranks to become a key player in the team that brought home the coveted 2010-2011 FA Youth Cup. Jesse Lingard's rise to stardom was not without his challenges. In 2011, he was awarded his first professional contract with Manchester United, but it wasn't until November 30th of that same year that he was given the chance to prove himself on the senior squad during a League Cup quarterfinal match against Crystal Palace at the iconic Old Trafford Stadium. Although they lost, it was a momentous occasion for the young player, marking the beginning of his journey to becoming a key player for the Red Devils. Jesse Lingard's journey to representing his country was not a short one. He first donned the England jersey as a member of the Under-17 team in 2008, making a quick three appearances. He continued to impress at the Under-21 level with 11 appearances, honing his skills and proving his worth. But it was not until he made his senior debut for the three Lions against Malta that he truly announced himself on the international stage, solidifying his place as one of England's brightest talents. In 2012, Jesse Lingard's career took an unexpected turn when he was sent on loan to championship side Leicester City. On November 6th, he made his competitive debut in a thrilling 0-0 draw against Bolton Wanderers, coming off the bench in the 85th minute to make an immediate impact. The loan was extended until January 2nd, 2013, giving him the opportunity to showcase his skills and make a total of five appearances for the club. It was a defining moment in his career, as he proved that he had the potential to make it at the highest level and was not to be underestimated. Rising to fame Jesse Lingard's 2013 preseason with Manchester United was one for the history books. As the team traveled to Sydney, Australia to take on the A-League All-Stars, he made his mark by scoring the first goal for the Red Devils following the legendary Ferguson an era. He didn't stop there. He added more goals to the board against Yokohama F Marinos and Kitchi FC, proving himself to be a goal-scoring machine. He finished the tour with a remarkable four goals in as many matches. Jesse Lingard's lone spell at Birmingham City in 2013 was one for the ages. On the 19th of September, he joined the club and just two days later, he was thrust into the starting lineup for a championship match against Sheffield Wednesday. What happened next was pure magic, as he scored a hat-trick in just 13 minutes and led his team to a 4-1 victory with all the goals coming from his boots. He returned to Manchester United on the 11th of January 2014 as an unused substitute. But his time at Brighton and Hove Albion on a three-month loan later in the same year was even more impressive, scoring his first goal for the club on 8th of April. In a 4-1 win over his former club, Leicester City, he made a total of 15 appearances and scored three goals. His 2014-2015 season saw his debut for Manchester United as he featured against Swansea City in the Premier League opener. But his debut was cut short to only 24 minutes due to an injury. However, it was on the 7th of November 2015 that he scored his first senior goal for Manchester United in a 2-0 home win over West Bromwich Albion. Jesse Lingard's rise to stardom hit new heights in 2016 as he became the hero for Manchester United in the 2016 FA Cup Final. On 21st of May, with a match tied against Crystal Palace, he came on as a second-half substitute for Juan Mata and in the 110th minute, he scored the winning goal that secured the trophy for the Red Devils. He made a total of 40 appearances for the club that season, scoring 6 goals. But it was not just in the FA Cup Final where he shone, as he also scored the opening goal as Manchester United beat Premier League champions Leicester City 2-1 to win the 2016 FA Community Shield. He also made his mark on the international stage, scoring his first goal for the Three Lions in a friendly match as England triumphed over the Netherlands 1-0 on the 23rd of March 2018. So far, everything appeared like sun and shine. The Downfall 
After spending two decades honing his skills and leaving a lasting impression at Manchester United, Jesse Lingard's time at the club has come to an end. The club announced at the end of the 2021-2022 season that the dynamic and versatile midfielder will be leaving the Red Devils in a free transfer in the summer. This news left the fans speechless, not knowing what really happened, but the club paid tribute to him as they released a statement on the official website saying, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank Jesse for all the memories he's helped create during his two decades here and wish him the best of luck in his future career. Still, at the time, questions were to be answered on the real reason why he decided to leave the club. With the ink now dry in his contract, Jesse Lingard makes a bold move to join Nottingham, Forest FC, despite all the rumors. It was exactly at this moment that he decided to come to light and explain everything. The once fun-loving and outgoing player had become a shell of his former self, struggling to find the joy in the game he once loved. He avoided leaving his house and could barely bring himself to step on the pitch. Desperate for escape, he turned to alcohol as a means of coping with the overwhelming darkness that consumed his life. But as he battled through this difficult period, he was determined to rise above it and reclaim his passion for the game. It was as if I were a machine, just going through the motions. Lingard reflects, I would talk to people but it was like I wasn't really there. Their words would enter one ear and exit the other without making any impact. I was numb and I sought that numbness wanting to avoid feeling anything at all. Depression is a silent yet powerful force that can take hold at any time. And for Jesse Lingard, it was something that had been a constant presence in his life. His mother, Kirsty, had been struggling with a condition for as long as he could remember, often feeling exhausted, overwhelmed, and shutting herself off from the world. For Jesse, his own battle with depression came to a head in 2019 while he was a player for Manchester United. It intensified in the lead up to the first pandemic lockdown in March 2020, reaching a break Breaking point during an FA Cup match against Derby, he had played the full 90 minutes, but he was not truly present. As he boarded the team bus after the match, the abuse he received from a couple of United fans was the final straw that sent him spiraling to rock bottom. And this continued for many months. At this time in Manchester, his performance was declining slowly until the club had enough and decided to transfer him. What now? For now, he made a few appearances with Nottingham Forest, but so far nothing that outshined his day at Manchester. The lockdown was the ultimate reset button for Jesse Lingard. It provided the much needed time and space for self-reflection, leading to personal growth and the reigniting of his passion for life. Without the lockdown, he may have never taken the time to heal and rediscover himself. With relentless determination, Jesse has been pushing himself to new limits in training. He's also been using his platform to speak out on the importance of advocating for oneself, sharing personal insights through appearances on podcasts, and encouraging others to speak out when things aren't right.